I'm Jones. I'm Ross. And I'm Sean. We're from From and Home Supply and today is going to be a rough day because we're going to try some dog biscuits. So not a lot of people uh, think about what they're giving their dog or whether it tastes good as a human or not, but today we're going to do a blind taste test on six different brands and find out which one the best tasting is. We're going to do peanut butter flavor today. What are you expecting since you're a buyer in the category? Uh, I'm expecting this tasty morsel right here the to, small be, ones? to be the, the winner. All right, Ross, what do you think? I'm just glad this wasn't the wet dog food canned <laughs> taste test. Yeah, I think we'll stray away from cat food. Uh, I've had dog food before. It's not bad. It's a little bit dry, so that's why we got our handy-dandy uh, watering cups here. All right, so we got six different brands. Again, blind taste test. Rank them on a scale of 1 to 10 to which one, uh, which one's the best tasting. All right, number one, I'll serve it up. Your platter, sir. Thank you. Now be classy and pinky out. Huh. I want to get your reaction because you haven't had dog food before, have you? No. <laughs> dry. A little this dry. One was Very a little dry. dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you get a lot of peanut butter flavor out of it? You're going back for a second bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to make sure I get the uh, full flavor profile. Yes, once you kind of get started, it's not all bad. <laughs> I know. It's, it's salty to me. So dog tree is salty. Um, has like a hummus aftertaste. I will say for a peanut butter dog treat though, not a lot of peanut butter. I would agree. Slight peanut? A little bit. This one I think, uh, I see some of these are made with uh, chicken meal and I, I think this one has uh, some chicken meal in it. Not that I know what that tastes like. But. Now, the good news is today dry. we're trying six different dog treats. We're going to have a lot of protein in us by the end. All right. Scale of one to ten. One, two, three. Going to go with six, seven. I'm going three. <laughs> it's low. It, it, it looked like a peanut butter cookie. It did not taste like a peanut butter cookie. <laughs> it looked like one of those circus peanuts. If it was only orange, it didn't taste like a circus peanut, though. <laughs> Number two. All right. A dainty one. All right. Not nearly as hard to get through, but I don't know if that's what you want for your dog. You want them something to exercise your jaw? Yep, I would think so. And yeah, this one is uh, kind of crumbly. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a good word to use crumbly. Easier to bite through, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Again, not a lot of peanut butter flavor. No. Nope. But I wouldn't say the flavor is off-putting. No. Nope. It tastes like nope. a dry cracker without the salt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just melts in your mouth, though. It gets chewy as it goes along. But again, it helps clean dogs' teeth, right? That is correct. Kind of the point of it. Yep. I'm gonna go uh, number seven on that one. I'm going to an eight. I'm going five. Ooh, moving all up. All right. <laughs> all right, number three, another dainty one. Now these are bite size. Yep, going the whole thing all in. Mm -hmm. mm. Much different flavor on that one. Yeah, more earthy. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad though. I mean, it tastes like a a shredded wheat cereal. Still pretty dry. Yep. Yeah. Not not picking up a lot of peanut butter in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised by these. I'm not getting peanut butter. I thought dogs love peanut butter. Apparently, they don't know what it tastes like. Yeah, they, they're being tricked. <laughs> what do you got? Still easy to eat and chew through. I'm going with a seven. Five. I'm going to drop down on that one. I'm going six. <laughs> Song gets first dibs. Another peanut shaped one. I'm sure it won't taste like a peanut. Oh, man. That's a jawbreaker. Hmm. Yeah, this one was tough to chew through. Kind of like the first one. Um, this tastes the way it smells. Mm -hmm. Very grainy. I don't know if this one has, what'd you say, chicken meal? What some of them have? Yeah. Again, not sure what chicken meal tastes like, but yep. this I think I've heard it out. Yeah, I think <laughs> yep. you know now. There's a slight hint of what that tastes like. Hmm. That one tastes a little bit like hay to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was going down a little bit in the score. <laughs> Go. oh, I'm going to drop to a five on that one myself. This one five, is four, three. <laughs> that one was subpar. Subpar <laughs> <laughs> on dog treats. <laughs> So yeah, far, you haven't taken a drink yet. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the winner is the Wild Gear Ice Water. The water tastes really good. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, now this one actually looks scrumptious by the looks of it. We'll see how good it tastes. Yeah, I would say of all of them, it's, it's like a coating like one of those, the Golden Grams type Right, thing. Golden Gram, yeah. 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 <laughs> In no oh. way, much will ever taste like one, though. <laughs> no. Nope. Again, the lack of peanut butter. It says peanut butter on the bag. I hate to say, we're, we are tricking our dogs, as you said. They're being yep. deceived. Yep. They don't know what they don't know. So dry and powdery. This one's maybe the most crumbly out of all of them. Yep. To you I would agree. Words. I would agree. I'm going with a six on that one. Yeah, I'm sorry, whatever brand that is, that's a three for me. Yep, I went six again. 
I'm gonna have to buy a soda after this. <laughs> the water's not doing it. It's not erasing. The, it's, oh. it's not erasing the flavor. I think I'm taking too big of a bite. Did you finish that one? Did you finish the whole cookie? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a shot. I kind of took that one. The more shot approach. <laughs> All right. Last one, number six. Thankfully, I don't know what to expect with this one. It looks pretty crunchy. Again, looks like a peanut though. Wait a minute. Okay. This is going to be weird to say, but the lack of flavor is enjoyable on mm -hmm. this one. Because the past three or four we've had have just been raw. This one's not bad. has a hint of aged cardboard in it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it tastes like a dried out biscuit. Like a real biscuit. Like yeah, a, a people yep. biscuit, not a dog biscuit. While crunchy, it's still like a yeast factor involved. Yep. I could actually eat that one. Like toast. Just need some something to really dip it in. Yeah, I you need dip for it. Yeah, bring some queso for our dog biscuits. That'd be good. Or ranch. Ranch. You yeah. can't go wrong with ranch. That's a solid uh, contender for me. That nice. Was that was my favorite. Nice. So that's that's our winner. So now to find out the big reveal of which brand won uh, the non-taste taste test. Um, Duralife. So surprise, surprise. One of the cheaper options in the stores, right? That is correct. This also actually happens to be one of our best sellers. So, what did you like about the Dura Life? We'll start with you first. I, the I, last one that we had. I, I think the the lack of of the grainy taste. Right. Ross, what did you like? I would agree. Um, it didn't really crumble in your mouth. Um, it, you know, it um, it just didn't have uh, kind of that. We'll call it the chicken meal taste. Yes. Yes. as the yep. other ones did. Yeah, for, for this one, even though it was peanut butter flavored and it didn't taste quite like peanut butter, it was the most enjoyable to gnaw through and then finally swallow. You can actually get that one down without coughing. Dural Life is uh, one of the brands we've had in the stores for uh, 20 plus years. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so you can find it on deal a lot, Dural Life, if your dog hasn't eaten it, and maybe you want to treat too, you might try it. But share it with your dog. <laughs>